All right, so iPhone or Android, doesn't matter. I'm gonna show you how you can Chromecast with Google TV completely free. And it's really, really simple as well. Let's dive right into it. Hey, what is up everybody? I'm Riz and welcome to the channel. Hope you're doing good. And in this video, I'm gonna teach you or rather show you how you can Chromecast with a Google TV, completely free, and it's really, really simple too. So I'm gonna show you on how you can do it on Android or also on iPhone as well. So if you're using iPhone or Android, doesn't matter, I'm gonna show you how you can do it on both, really, really simple. So let's just dive right into it. By the way, before diving in, I will leave a timestamp for iPhone users and for the Android users as well. Also, by the way, if you're down there in the description, leave a like. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below at the end of this video, of course. And I would be so happy if you could just leave a subscribe as well. Now let's dive in. All right, so first things first, first off is the Android. And I can tell you one thing, Chromecast with a Google TV, I mean, Google is Android basically, so it's really, really simple for Android users, okay? So the first thing you wanna do on your Android phone is to connect your Android phone to a Wi-Fi or hotspot or any available connection that you have at your home, okay? So in this case, I'm gonna just swipe down and I'm just gonna connect to my Wi-Fi or if you don't have Wi-Fi, you can also use mobile data if you want to. But in this case, I'm gonna just use my Wi-Fi as you can see, I'm just gonna turn it on and it should automatically connect to my home Wi-Fi as you can see on your screen. Pretty simple. Nothing fancy, that's pretty much all we need to do on the Android phone. Android basically is Google, so you don't have to worry about any downloading third-party apps or anything like that. No third-party no third party apps, let's just... All right, so the first thing you wanna do on your Google TV is to make sure your TV is also on the same network as your iPhone or your Android phone is. So just go to your settings page, go to the network settings, and connect your TV to the Wi-Fi that is available to you. The one we connected on the iPhone or, or on the Android phone. So just connect to that network, okay? That is really, really important. And that's pretty much all we need to do on the TV. Swipe down and go to the settings page. Now inside the settings page, this might be different for you, of course. This is a Redmi phone, but I want you to look for something called connection and sharing settings. Might be different for you, by the way, so just look for it, okay? All right, so inside the connection and sharing settings, I want you to scroll down a tiny bit and look for something called wireless display. Okay, so just click on it. And I don't, I don't want you to turn it on. As you can see, it will automatically detect anything that is Google, it's connected to Google. So in this case, we have Google TV in the background as you can see, so it will automatically detect it for you. So if you turn it on, if you turn it on, it will automatically de uh, detect the TVs that are not Android as you can see. So I'm just gonna turn it off as you can see. You can turn it on if you want to, that's completely okay. So once you find your TV, all you need to do is just click on it and it's gonna ask you for permissions as you can see at the bottom of your screen. Click start now and we are connected as you can see hold on see pretty pretty awesome it's completely free smooth as well well that's that's it for the android by the way if you want to stop this really really simple as well so let's just do that okay so the first thing you want to do to stop this is go to the settings page inside the settings page go to the connection and sharing settings inside the connection and sharing settings Go to the wireless display, just like we did before. And as you can see, mine is connected. All right, so inside the wireless settings, you wanna do is to, as you can see, mine is connected, just click on it. It's gonna ask you to disconnect as you can, as you can see on your screen. So just click on disconnect and there you go. That's how simple, that's how, that's how simple it actually is. All right, now it's time for the iPhone. Let's do that. Well, that was pretty simple for the Android but it is tiny, tiny bit different for the iPhone users, okay? But don't worry about it. I'm gonna show you step by step how you can Chromecast your iPhone with a Google TV. So let's dive right into it. All right, so the Android is out of the way. Let's dive into the iOS world. I mean, iPhone, of course. Okay, so we're gonna do the exact same thing on the iPhone as well, except for one different thing, okay? First off is the Wi-Fi connection. So just go to your settings 
and make sure your iPhone is connected to either your Wi-Fi or your mobile data. But again, be careful with the mobile data. This mobile data is not free depending on your uh, network, okay? So for the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna use my Wi-Fi and make sure my iPhone is connected to my Wi-Fi. Well, as you can see, it's connected. That's pretty much all we need to do uh, in the settings page. Okay, now go to the... All right, second thing is to download a free app called AirDroid. Since iPhone is disconnected from the Android world, we need to download a third party app because it can't just uh, you know do it with the Google uh, without any third party apps, okay? So we need to download a third party app it's called Replica, Replica is cast, a screen mirroring replica app, by the way. Uh, all the, I'll be leaving all the links in the description box below, so don't worry about that. As you can see, I have downloaded it before. I'm just gonna click on update, so it's gonna update it automatically. And that's pretty much it, as you can see. Once the app is downloaded, that is pretty much all we need to do on the iPhone. Now let's jump back to the TV, okay? All right, so it's not actually different from before. All you have to do is to just make sure your TV is also on the same network as your iPhone actually is. So I just, I've showed you before, I'm just gonna gonna show you again. Just make sure your TV is connected to the same network as your iPhone is. That's it, that's all we need to do on the TV. That's completely it. All right, so the process is actually not that different from the Android except for a few different things okay so as we as you as i just showed you before the tv is connected to the same wi-fi as my iphone is as you can see so now what you want to do is to hold up all right so just turn down the brightness that's completely okay all right so now what you want to do is to open the replica app as you can see all right so once you open it up it will automatically detect all the tvs especially the google tv automatically as you can see on your screen i have multiple tvs running in the background so what you want to do is to select your google tv in this case pretty sure that's the top pretty sure that's the first one so just click on it and it's going to ask you to buy it but if you look closer to the top right corner you have the option to escape it so just wait a few seconds and uh, there you go just click on it hold up there you go Quite simple, right? I'm gonna show you again, by the way, just for the sake of this tutorial, just so you could understand better, okay? Let me just go back. All right, now what you wanna do is to click on it. Now click on it, and it's gonna ask you again to buy it. But if you look closer to the top right corner, you have the option to escape it. Four, three, two, one, let's go. Just click on it. And it's gonna ask you for the offer. Just click on the, uh, hold on. Just click on the ignore offer and there you go. All right, so now what you wanna do is to, all right, so now once you are on this screen, it's really simple from here. All you have to do is just click a start broadcast. It's gonna take three seconds, one, bam, we are connected. And as you can see, we are connected. Pretty, pretty awesome, right? All right, so it's exactly smooth, if not more, to be honest. It's completely wireless, it's completely free as well. And you have a lot, of, a lot of options, as I said, just as I just said before. I already know it's a long, long tutorial, so I'm just gonna quit it here. But before I do that, let me show you how you can stop it. If you just look closer to the top left corner, you have the option to stop it. Just click on it, and it's gonna ask you to stop the broadcast. All you have to do is to just click on stop, and it should automatically stop it for you. Pretty simple, right? Yeah. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you liked the video. By the way, as I said before, if you have any questions, leave that in the comment section below. I will definitely, definitely get back to you, okay? So that's pretty much it for the video. I'm Riz. You can follow me on uh, social media as well if you want to. By the way, I have tons more videos like this on my channel, so be sure to check that out. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, okay? I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.